Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to this edition of Malibu and Dad, and Mom's along with us, too. Look at Malibu, she's already sleeping. What a bum she is. <laughs> guys, we're going on another adventure today, so come along with us, and let's go see what we can find. Let's go have some fun. We're glad to share the places and the people that we'll meet. Think of the memories we'll have. Exploring hidden history, it's time to hop aboard On the road with Malibu and Dad On the road with Malibu and Dad Hey guys, Malibu and Dad here. Guys, we're traveling through to Quincy, Florida, but we decided to stop in Tallahassee to Old City Cemetery. Come with us as we uh, take a look at some of these really remarkable historic graves. This is really moving here, guys. In this section lies an unknown number of Confederate dead, known but to God. All those guys. Died in battle. And their bodies brought here. Well, guys, here are some of the graves of the soldiers during Natural Bridge that passed away. A whole row of uh, Confederate soldiers here. All died in battle, guys. Some of them didn't, but some, uh, most of them did. The first three of Natural Bridge here in Florida. So, guys, this is Bessie Graham. She has a very large monument here in Tallahassee Graveyard, the old cemetery. And her grave is just full of artifacts all over her gravestone. And she was rumored. I put a spell on this man and he built her this monument to her and they call her the double white witch which is really crazy so if you know anything about that please uh put it in the comments and we got some more very cool civil war uh veterans it looks like this one may have died first lieutenant milford bull company a first lord infantry July of 1866, right after Civil War, and second lieutenant, uh, he died a little bit after too. So uh, here they are in Tallahassee now. Guys, I found uh, Sergeant Charles Bannerman, Company G, 5th Lord Infantry, CSA. And uh, look at this graveyard here in Tallahassee, guys. It is absolutely amazing and old. So many stones. And the history here is just amazing. Wherever we turn, you know, it's somebody this, somebody that. So cool. Look at this one here. A little cross. It's pretty neat. Another really cool honorable mention here, and we're back in Tallahassee, is David Lang, born 1838 to 1917. And he was a major general. He was at Gettysburg. And uh, he also was very instrumental in uh, changing a lot of things with uh, the militia and military here in the uh, state of Florida. He established the first statewide summer encampment after serving as a private secretary for Governors Mitchell and Bloxham. So uh, pretty cool. And he's buried right here, guys. Repeat a piece of history. Hey guys, we're in Quincy, Florida. This is what they call Soldier Cemetery. It's uh, really, really old and really neat looking. Uh, just up the street from uh, 
Tallahassee. If I can figure out how to get in this old gate, I might be able to get in. Let me get my assistant to help me out here. I don't think I've ever seen a lock like that before. Oh, there we go. That's why she's got a college degree. Shows all the different units on the stone here. Let's not be forgotten. First Battalion. Wow, Fourth Infantry. Remember to these men who died in local hospitals here because of the war. Florida 5th Cavalry, 6th Infantry, 9th Infantry. Here they all are, guys. All these guys passed away at the hospital during uh, the Civil War, so these are all war casualty soldiers of the Confederate Army. And uh, there's a bunch of them here. Wow. No names, though. They're unknown soldiers, I guess. It's just kind of sad. There's so many of them. There's a CSA marker. It's a big steel one you'll find. This uh, is in Quincy, Florida. That's an old cemetery. Here's a one to our CSA Fallen Her Heroes, it says. Very ornate across sabers. Wow, well, I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this one. Old, the eagle on it. And here it says, sacred to the memory of the Confederate soldiers from Gaston County, Florida, who died in the defense of their country. Fame's eternal camping ground, their silent tents are spread and glory guards with solemn round the benevolence of the dead. This was erected by the ladies of the Memorial Association of Gas in Florida. Kind of neat. I like how they, they honor the, uh, the soldiers, no matter if they're northern or southerner. They still fought for a cause back in the day of when history was a little bit different. Still surrounded by the old gate that was uh says been fixed for these soldiers. Look at the cemetery guys. Whew. It's a little in disrepair and a very old. And look at the slab here. The headstone that just crumbled and fell apart. How sad that this place looks this bad. These are always fun to trace around, though. I love the history that you find in these places. So Quincy was known for uh, being a small town in Florida. And back in the day, um, Coca-Cola uh, came here, and they were selling stock. And there was a gentleman who said, hey, buy stock in Coca-Cola and hang on to it. So there was a lot of self-made millionaires here in Quincy, Florida. And there's still to this day some millionaires here because of Coca-Cola in this town and buying stock here. The gentleman um, is known to had uh, helped a lot of folks here buy stock in Coca-Cola. So kind of a cool kind of circle there. All this all got started. Man, some of these old graves. Well, this, this one here says he was a general. Frank N. Smith, 1899 and 1939 general. Well, that's interesting. Here's an interesting guy, interesting one, guys. Young Leonard Watson, attorney at law, born Oglethorpe County, Georgia, November 7th, 1871. He died here in Quincy on July 7th, 1930. 
Let's see, he was the son of Andrew Jackson and Meredith Dean Watson. So I'm gonna, I'm sorry, Mariah Dean Watson. You have to do a little checking up on that. You guys let me know in the comments section what you think. Look at this one here, guys. Lieutenant Commander WMM M. Corey Jr., United States Navy, 1889 and 1920. That's the whole family plot here. Look how beautiful this old. Look at these Confederate graves here, guys. Captain Abner W. Smith, born May 6, 1842, served his country as a member of the 8th Florida. Regiment CSA died in September 20, 1906. There's his wife right next to him. Looks like maybe the son over there. Wow. Very historical cemetery. Look at the oak tree. It encompasses their graves. This is another cemetery we come to. And the guy from the Coca-Cola stock to save the town is buried somewhere around here. I wanted to show you this. This is amazing. Wow, these are so cool looking and old. Excuse, excuse me, it's a hint. The wind's bothering it. Colonel R.H.M. Davison. P.H.M. Davison. Wow. Having served his generation by the will of God and fell asleep. He was in the CSA. Born 1832 and he died in 18, I'm sorry, 1908. January 1908. This must be the Davison plots because there's a lot of Davisons here. Look at the walls behind the old school here, guys. Crazy cemetery. All right, guys. This is why I say history is so cool and the cemeteries have so much history. We were at Patrick Henry's house where his descendant recited give me liberty or give me death speech at his property and here is another descendant the grandson of the same family here in Quincy Florida I mean this is remarkable guys stuff like this you just you don't just bump into but we did and uh, wow that's just amazing blows my mind that he is here in Quincy, Florida. We were just at the family home last 4th of July. Met his descendant and heard the grandson lies. Dr. Thomas Henry, grandson of Patrick Henry. Here's another one here, guys. Captain William McCall, born Merchlandburg County, North Carolina, August 20th, 1779, and died in Quincy, Florida, July 28th, 1863. He fought with the General Andrew Jackson, an 1813 messmate and friend. That is amazing, guys. This guy was a messmate of Andrew Jackson. and was a captain in the CSA, and he's buried here, Quincy, Florida. The history here is just oozing out. Here's another Confederate soldier. 
James Howard Sylvester, Annie McCall, wife, husband and wife right here, whole family plot. Unbelievable. So much history. Right behind this old school here in Quincy, Florida. Look at this one here, guys. James Callis and Andrew Callis. That one year of each other. Here's another neat headstone here. God, this, these are so beautiful. I've never seen one like this. Look how pretty that is, guys. My husband, Wattless Flying Father. Look how pretty that is. Absolutely beautiful. John W. Poindexter was born March 18th, 1870, and died November 14th, 1854. That's why that headstone is so old looking as it is. Wow. Amazing. Guys, this is Mark Welch Monroe. And here's his grave. Mark was the gentleman who was a banker here in town. And he told everybody to buy Coca-Cola stock and say, hang on to it. You'll become millionaires. And they did. And here's where he's buried with his wife. And every one of these headstones here is a Monroe family member. And even on his gravestone, guys, read this. The influence of his personality was so great and his advice so widely sought that he seemed an institution in the community, hardly subject to removal by death. This guy was trusted by everybody. He made a lot of people rich. But look at the size of the Monroe family. This whole plot is all Monroe's. And this guy here, just a remarkable and amazing guy. So this is kind of history that uh, just, you just, it's unbelievable. And uh, made a lot of people rich from Coca-Cola stock, and that's what uh, made Quincy such a very wealthy uh, city and area here in Florida. So here's some more Monroe's, guys. Very pretty headstones. All that. These are all Monroe's here in Quincy. Really cool. These are the kind of houses, guys. They're here in Quincy. Look at this thing. How beautiful is that? So guys, here's the uh, town square. It's the courthouse. Here at Adams Street and Washington Street. So everything's kind of close, so it's kind of quiet. But, uh, really neat, neat area. Here it says Main Street, Quincy. Building. And there's their water tower on street. Look at this, guys. It's the old Leaf Theater. Kiss Me Kate. I guess I wanted to show you the Monroe house. And this is a gentleman who was a banker where he lived. And that's a historic marker there on the corner, historic house of the Harris Monroe. 211. 
Guys, here's the Quincy Water Tower at Adam Street. Look at this thing here. Holy cow, is that beautiful or what? I'm thinking they bought some Coca-Cola stock too. But believe it or not, this beautiful vintage home here is for sale. And Darlene's looking it up. I'd say a couple million dollars for sure. That thing is gorgeous. Guys, look at this one here. God, that thing is gorgeous. I'm sure he bought Coca-Cola stock too. Look at that one, guys. And this one here. Quincy, Florida has some of the most beautiful houses I've ever seen in Florida. This is like stuff you see up north. Guys, look at this vintage golf station. Man, it's like I went back in time in the 50s. How cool is this? Look at the old pumps, guys. That was the Supreme stuff there, the Golf No Knocks. And that was the regular one. Look at the old. I remember when you used to be able to air up your tires for free at places. Look at the old Coke machine. Wow. Look at this, guys. It's like vintage. Like you're back in the 50s. How cool is that? The old machine, the old telephone, Coca-Cola sign. Got the old Coke here. I could go for a cold Coke right about now. Guys, look at the cars. Oh my God. How beautiful is that? Look at that old thing. Look at the old golf truck. Repair truck here. How cool. Golf Select Fuels. Right on the main drag. <laughs> How super cool is this? Look at that. Oh my God. Quincy, Florida has not been a disappointment. It's got some of the neatest things I've ever seen. All right, guys, so honorable mention here is the Quincy Police Department. The old police lights here, how cute. I love the front doors. How cool is that? And I love the old Quincy Crown Vic. I'm not sure that one's just for display purposes only. They got some of the Newer ones and older ones back here. Cute little police department though, guys. Looks like they might even have a lockup upstairs. Well, guys, after all that YouTubing, it's time for a large pizza here at, uh, what is it, Matteo's? I don't know. Pizza in Tallahassee. Mama's ready. She's tired. Malibu, she's tired. She's worked so hard today. Well, thank you, guys. Until we see you again on the next adventure, Malibu and Dad. Love you. Be safe. Have a great week, and uh, God bless you guys. Bye-bye.